Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. <laughs> if you know, if you know the song I'm singing, um, you have children. So I am. Today is April sixth that I'm filming this, and my due date was April first. So I am very pregnant, and I'm still here huffing and puffing over on YouTube, showing y'all. Stuff I got at the Goodwill outlet. So these are my last, hopefully my last two trips to the bins before I give birth. I kind of went to try to like induce labor and also cause I just, I'm gonna miss the bins so much, but that didn't work. I am still pregnant, but I did find some good stuff. I actually went twice. And so I'm gonna show you everything that I found from both trips. So it's gonna be a big old massive haul bunch of stuff and I'm going to organize it so that hopefully get it photographed maybe before baby comes. Probably not. I have like a hundred items hung up too. So I'm good on inventory for April, which is good because I think it will be easier to bring the baby to the office to maybe work than uh, take her to Goodwill, especially the bins. That's never, I, I respect those moms, but I, that's not me. <laughs> I'm never gonna do that. Okay, so let's jump into this haul. Okay, this first haul I spent $45.16 and I got 24 items to sell. I got 13 items to keep. Oh, it was a lot of Easter stuff, and which was great. It was actually right before Easter and so it saved me a bunch of money. And then two items to take to Crossroads. So it came out to $1.16 per item, which is good. Then this one I just went to the other day. I was having a harder time finding stuff. I did find some good stuff. I ended up having to like get a couple cookbooks to make sure I made it to 25 pounds and, and stuff like that. So my, I spent $40.54 literally got to just 25.5 pounds because if you're unfamiliar, every Goodwill is different depending on where you are in the country and some states don't have Goodwill outlets. They t typically price by the pound and here in Portland, if you get over 25 pounds, then it goes from 219 per pound to I think 129 per pound. So usually it makes sense to um, try to get 25 pounds. So I did that. Anyway, it spent $40.54, got 17 items to sell, some things to keep, some things to take to Crossroads too. I, I haven't been finding a ton of stuff to take to Crossroads. I only found two things this trip too, but um, my cost of goods was 127 per item, which is still great. So really cheap way to get inventory. I love sourcing at the bins, but let's jump into this first one. Okay, so I literally grabbed this on my way out. It is a project, but I think it's a project worth doing. Someone threw it back because they just did not want to deal with it. It is J. Crew Italian Stadium Cloth. This coat almost always sells for $100. It is one of those classic J. Crew styles. I think it's called like the cocoon coat or something. I don't know. I've sold it several times, many, many times. And this is a black, which is a really good color for it and 4T. So in this one, actually, they've been making this stuff for forever, but this one is actually fairly recent for fall 2019. I've sold ones that are like way older for over a hundred dollars. So basically I'm going to have to take like a million sheets of lint rollers to this and maybe do some sweater shaving, but it's not really peeling that badly. It's just mainly lots of lint rolling, which is my least favorite, but whatever. And then I also found this in near the end of my trip and decided just to get it. I, I did not check comps, but it is Eileen Fisher, which is great. And it's an extra large, which is also great. It's a chambray top. It's got cute pockets on the front. But yeah, solid 25 to $35 piece. I love selling Eileen Fisher, especially in larger sizes. Okay, this is one I didn't check comps on either because I was just like in a huge hurry when I was leaving. Oh, it doesn't have a size. Hmm, maybe this I could take to Crossroads. I think I was thinking that. But this is a brand I haven't sold too much of, but I used to get it in liquidation. It's Grayers. This is Grayers Athletic. And it's just a zip up hoodie. I could easily, you know, measure it and come up with a size that way, but the size and materials tag is missing. So I didn't check comps. I know I, I'm guessing it would probably also sell for like 25 to 35. So if I wanted to take it to Crossroads, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, it is missing the drawstring on the hood. So I think I might try that one at Crossroads. Oh, it has a stain on it too. Okay, I'm gonna just mark it as a loss. <laughs> There's too many issues. There's too many issues. That's what happens when you're in a hurry at the bins. You miss the stains. Okay, and then I picked up these marine layer. I love selling marine layer pants. I think these are women's, but it says athletic fit, so I'm not sure. 
but they're a pair of pull-on jogger style pants in this green color, so that should do well. I did not check comps, but probably in the 30, 35 dollar range, maybe 40, I don't know, I need to check. Sometimes marine layer can be worth more than I think it is. I think I'm keeping this for myself. It is made well, and it is a knit tank with all this fruit embroidered on it. Cute. For summer, just gonna keep it. And then, oh, I found a Patagonia piece. This is a kid's piece. Does this need to be stain treated? I think it's actually in pretty good condition. It is a quarter snap pullover, size extra large, so 14. I could keep that for my girls, but it'd be sitting there for 14 years and who knows? <laughs> who knows if they even, if Patagonia is even a thing by then. And then, I did pick this up just on a whim, but it is the, bra I love selling bras from the bins, the brand True, and it's 1X. So even if I just make like 15, 20 bucks from it, I still think it's so easy to list. It's just a little bralette. I really like that brand for bras. I don't think it retails for a ton, but I'll pick it up at the bins. This is a good one. It's a new tag Koss piece. Koss is basically H&M, it's owned by H&M and it's their kind of higher end line. For instance, this, oh, this top, which is like just a kind of pleated top with the zipper front, retailed for $89, so. I've really been enjoying selling costs these days. This is a brand I don't pick up often, but I thought this was a substantial enough piece that I wanted to try it out. It's O'Neill size small and it's this quilted kind of puffer jacket in this army green color i thought that was really cute so i was like you know let's give it a shot i know a lot of people aren't keen on picking up jackets and sweaters right now but i like it because instead of having to hustle you know come july august to get all your coats and sweaters when everyone else is trying to get it done just slowly over time adding that to your inventory. And then come Q3, Q4, and you'll have a bunch of jackets and coats and sweaters, and that is your most profitable time period anyway. So I don't mind it if it's cute and I'm excited to list it. Okay, this is so small. I'm so, <laughs> wow. It's a size 24 double zero Abercrombie. I'm starting to pick up Abercrombie, especially at the bins, just to experiment, but this is just a pair of black jeans. I don't really know what to pick up by Abercrombie. Some of the pieces are obvious, like if they're really trendy, but I don't, I don't know if I should be picking up these more basic pieces. They're the ankle straight ultra high rise. So I guess we'll find out. If you sell a lot of Abercrombie, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, here's my receipt. I got 28.4 pounds for $45.16 on this one. Oh, I love finding this at the bins, Taylor Stitch. I found it a couple times recently. Uh, this is a really cute pair of men's shorts. Oh geez, I just saw that in the camera. There is some, um, is that bleach? What is that? Oh man, I don't think that's coming out. I think that's like a sun bleach or a bleach bleach stain. That's really too bad. Okay, well, hmm, they're, my, they're matte size too. I could try to wash it, I don't know. I'll put that to the side. Anyway, that's too bad. This I know has a flaw, but I thought it was so cute I wanted to get it anyway. It's Patagonia. It's a pullover sweatshirt. It's got a, that little patch there, but it has a hole in the right elbow. So I think I'll I think I'm just gonna list it as is and just list it low, like $20, $25. And I think it should still sell. Oh, I, I think I got this for me. <laughs> it is L.L. Bean. And I love it because it's 100% cotton, but it is this cardigan. Really, really cute. Can't wear it right now, it's too small, but once baby comes out, <laughs> I should be able to wear it. This is a by Anthropology which is one of their kind of newer, newer, newer as in in the past like five to eight years lines. And it is a button front shirt dress. 
I don't, is it missing a waist tie? I don't see loops for a waist tie, so that's promising. But this is really cute, I kinda wanna keep it. It's a small, I'll sell it. Okay, I do need to do some stain trading on this, but I still wanted to pick it up because I thought it was so, so cute. And I did check comps on this because of the brand. I'm typically, typically don't pick up, but I am definitely very picky with. And comps on this particular piece looked really good. It's Mountain Hardware. And as you can see, it has some staining on the inner collar there. But this is so cute. It's this collarless quilted jacket. I think it's from the same person as that O'Neill jacket in this really pretty rust color, burnt orange. So I need to do some stain treating on that, but really, really cute. Here, I'll put this here. This is Madewell. I think I might put this, I'll either sell it or put it in my winter crossroads bin, or I might keep it. It's so cute. There's a Madewell beanie. I'll put that to the side. This I did pick up for Crossroads, but I saw, I think, Jack, Jack Valentine pick it up recently, and he said it performs pretty well. It also has some serious discoloration on the neck, which typically is actually pretty easy to come out. But it's Everlane. It's their, like, Sherpa pullover. I think... Crossroads would accept that, if not now, in the fall winter time, but I probably should stain treat that neck and maybe just sell it myself if I'm gonna go to the effort of doing that. I'll check comps. Okay, Ted Baker. I recently picked up a really good Ted Baker suit jacket that I was so excited about because those can sell for like $100, but it reeked of cigarette smoke and I didn't realize it until I got back. But So I smelled these <laughs> and they don't smell of cigarette smoke, but they're just a good old pair of pants. And they have this kind of, they're like khaki pants, but they have this very small print. So I really like selling men's Ted Baker stuff, especially more substantial pieces like jackets and sweaters and pants. The shirts, like polos and button downs, I typically not super excited to sell. Okay, this is a wild find. And I found it, so when they do a new rotation, at least in Portland, they'll, they'll start pulling one away and that's how you know they're, okay, they're gonna do a new rotation here. So everyone goes and lines up there. And then sometimes people, including me, will like go through the bins that they're pulling away while they're still working on it. And, I was just going through a bin that was about to be pulled to the back and I found this and I was like, holy moly, it's All Saints. And All Saints, you know, it doesn't perform like it used to, not all pieces do, but this is a really substantial piece and it's similar to the J. Crew piece. Gonna take some, some work, but some lint rolling especially, but it's this, you know, wool coat with this really dramatic collar that has this, Little hook closure here. Really, really nice. So that was such a cool find. And it almost ended up, you know, in the landfill or wherever it was headed. So I'm happy that I saved that, scored that. I took two Everlane t-shirts to the Crossroads recently and they took both. So I was like, okay, um, <laughs> I will continue to pick them up. This is another Everlane t-shirt. There's a blue t-shirt that I'm gonna take to Crossroads. I kinda wanna, it's so wrinkled. Aim it a bit, but I don't know. It's a lot of effort. Okay, found a couple things for baby. This is a Carter's six month, just little onesie, bodysuit, whatever. Okay, Boho Bloom's Closet. Y'all should follow her. She's really, does a lot on whatnot, the nicest. She's so, so nice. And she came up to me and her name's Lindsay. And she gave me this, which was so sweet. But it's a magnetic me, nine to 12. Well, footsie. I love Magnetic Me. If you are going to enter parenthood soon, try out. Get Order one Magnetic Me onesie from, you can buy it pre-owned or you can buy it new, whatever. And see if you like it because it's so <laughs> much easier than zippers or especially snaps. But I tend not to get them for like newborns because newborns are just constantly pooping on everything. And I... Uh, I don't want to deal with that. But once they get a little older, they're not pooping through everything. I definitely prefer magnetic me. And that one's perfect because it's 9 to 12 months. Okay, this is a pair of men's J brand jeans. 
which I love selling. I think this is called the Tyler, which is a good cut. It does have this weird stain here that I think should come out, hopefully. So I've got to stain treat that. Actually kind of getting on top of my stain treating game. I just hung up a bunch of things that I stain treated recently. And then I have a bin in my laundry room that's ready to go. So I just, I'm feeling better about picking up things with stains from the bins. But that one was worth it because it's small stain. I'll know whether or not it'll come out pretty, pretty quickly. And if it does come out, it will be easy to list and sell. Uh, okay, I did check comps on this. This is Vineyard Vines. Not a brand I pick up very often or come across very often. But this is a linen kind of sheath dress with this pleating detail along the neckline. Got a little bit of fading. Actually, I don't know. I keep... Actually, it doesn't really have that much fading. But it, it did look like it was going to sell between like 30 and 40 So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is a Rag & Bone Men's Polo. I haven't sold anything like this in, I don't know, a long time. So... Definitely worth picking up and trying out. This is another good find. I think this was like in the same bin. A Vince, size large. I think it's 100% 100% silk. Yeah, little cami top. So lightweight, so easy to list. So nice and high quality of a piece. I really like selling stuff like that. And then I think I picked this up for myself. It's Hannah Anderson, six to 12 onesie with little sheeps on it. So cute. This is a kind of more substantial Tord piece that I was willing to pick up. Starting to get way more selective with Torrid, but this is a pair of kind of short alls, overalls, and I think it's from a more recent season. 2021, yeah. So decided to pick those up. Oh, Lindsay also gave me these, and I was like, hopefully I don't need them soon because I'm gonna be giving birth, but it hasn't happened yet. These are, this is a really good maternity brand, Blanky or Blanky, I don't know. This is, I love selling these. These are uh, a pair of leggings and they're in excellent condition actually and they're size medium. So maybe I'll go home and wash them and wear them one or two times. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. Um, what is today? The 6th? On April 15th, I will be 42 weeks. So, and then at that point, I don't know, they might induce me. So we'll see. I'll take this home. But then also postpartum, you know, you still have a belly bump. I always forget that part. So I'll probably be wearing them postpartum too. This I decided to pick up. I didn't check comps or anything, but at the bins, like, um, I'll pick it up. Even if I take it to Crossroads. It's um, ATM, which is Anthony Thomas Melillo. It's a men's shirt that's like this tattered. It's like a double layered shirt. And then the top layer has a bunch of holes in it. And the bottom layer is white. That was pretty cool. Probably the same person as that rag and bone shirt. Okay, my camera overheated, but I think what I was saying was I'm excited to check comps on that ATM piece and get it listed and see how it does. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I'll just list it. It's a Quince, which is a um, good brand to pick up bins. Tank. Just a black tank, though. So... <laughs> I mean, it's just like not, it's a good brand, but it's not worth much. So do I try to take it to Crossroads, maybe? I think I, I think that's what I'll do first. And then if they have no interest in it, I can go ahead and list it. And then the last couple of things, few things I got were just for me. A pair of J. Crew shorts, so cute. Size 4. I don't think these will fit Billy Lou, but maybe they will. I mean, no, there's, I feel like some of her shorts look this size, though. Even though those are 4 and she's a 2. She's small. <laughs> She's not, she's like petite for her age. But, and then I have two like new condition, newborn onesies from Burt's Bees. So definitely need to get those in the wash. Those were great finds. But that is everything from, here, let me put my own personal things. <laughs> I'm gonna like wash those tailor stitch shorts just to make sure I'm right about it being permanent. But anyway, that is everything that I got at that Goodwill Benz. And then, got another one. So, this one's fewer items, but. Okay, this first one, I just, I just couldn't leave it behind. I don't know, I'm, it's Supreme. I don't know if it's my train authentic or anything. I know, I know nothing about Supreme. I literally know nothing, except for some things are highly sought after and people stood in line for a long time at the stores. But this is just like a black button down shirt. It, this is 
the inner logo. I mean, this is the inner tag, which is, you know, obviously different. And then it has this little patch, and then it has this materials tag. And it has significant wear on the underarms, so I'm gonna have to see if I can do anything about that. But if I can do something about it, I mean, it's just like, you know, man, it looks like it's really been worn. I don't understand even how this happens. Can do something about it. I'm thinking I'll just take it to Crossroads and see what they want to do with it. If they want to take a gamble on it. I don't know. I was just like, let's just, let's just stay and treat it and see what happens and take it to Crossroads and see if they want it. Okay, this is a good piece to find. Smart wool. I didn't see any holes in it either, although it is inside out, so I should probably <laughs> turn it inside out. Men's medium, long sleeve, merino wool. This type of piece just sells so, so well. And this one seems to be in excellent condition. It does have, I hate that laundry detergent smell. Like I, I don't know which one it is, but it smells like grape or something to me. But yeah, it's a really good condition. But yeah, really good piece by Smart Wool. This is maybe my favorite find from this bin strip. I couldn't believe I found it. I went on a Thursday, which I typically kind of like to go on the weekends because there are a few resellers on the weekends. There were a lot of resellers there on a Thursday, which I guess to be expected. I used to go on Thursday all the time, but I felt like it was more competitive. Like, you know, you'd be less likely to find good stuff in older bins. But I did uh, run into a few resellers who recognized me and I just want to apologize <laughs> because I was so tired and so like disoriented that I probably came off as rude or I don't know something to some of y'all. So sorry. I was just like, oh, hi. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the night before I had really bad acid reflux and contractions all night. So anyway, I did find this, which was nice. Um, and it's Patagonia. And it's a pair of swim trunks. They're swim trunks because they do have the mesh lining. I think baggies don't. And they're orange, and then they've got this you know, slightly lighter orange pocket on the back. So a good find for summer. Uh, definitely, this should sell pretty easily. Men's large. So if that was a small, I'd probably keep it. <laughs> Just to wear. One of y'all came up to me. Oh, God, oh, Brenna? Brenna came up to me, I think, and gave me this. Matilda Jane dress. So cute. Oh my goodness. This baby is going to be so cute in this. Six to 12 months. It's got little umbrellas, which is actually perfect for Portland. <laughs> so cute. And then I got this pair of rabbit and bear pants. 100% organic cotton pants for baby. This I was really on the fence about picking up because it's a double zero. And like I said in my sales recap video for the month of March, I was going through my older inventory and a lot of it is skewed towards smaller sizes. And it just is, seems to be a common denominator in the things that I cannot sell. So it's really making me not want to pick up smaller sizes, but this is a 100% linen J. Crew blazer. So it's really pretty. And it's this light pink. What is the size? It's from spring 2019, so it's not super new. But it, typically with blazers, I don't care about it being a recent style when it comes to J. Crew. I don't know, is J by J. Crew, is it? I, I don't know. They've had so many like spin-offs and lines within them over the past decade because they've just changed CEOs like what two or three times. Anyway, I don't know if that's a J. Crew factory type brand or what, but I'm gonna sell it, see how it does. It's a good time of year to spin list a 100% linen blazer. This I think I'm going to keep, or I'm, I don't know, I might list. It is so cute. Made well. It is this over, well, it's not oversized. It's a size large. For me, it would be oversized. <laughs> Ruffle trim, ribbed, mock neck sweater. So cute. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, the materials tag is cut out, but I could find this if I wanted to. I'm like, I don't want to keep it. Maybe I should sell it. No, I'm putting it in the keep it pile. And same with this one. This one I think is like extra small so that was a large that's an extra small but they're in the same bin together this i'm obsessed with and i can wear in the summer so easily because summers here aren't super hot oftentimes and it's button front so i can easily breastfeed with it but it's this cropped short sleeve sweater 
So cute. It's collared, which I really, really like. I got these patch pockets on the front. And this one's super recent. It's from spring 2022. So I am going to keep that. I could easily sell that. Those two things. Give me it for me. Um, this has a little bit of staining on the inner lining, but I'm going to take it to Crossroads and see if they want it. It's Abercrombie Fitch Extra Small. I could easily sell this. It is a really, really cute cropped short sleeve like blazer or jacket. Very 90s. Is this? It looks linen. I don't know if it is linen. Like it's going for that linen look. No, it's 100%. Oh wait, yeah, it is 55% linen, 45% viscose. So yeah, perfect for the season. Honestly, maybe I should check comps. I should probably check comps and see if I want to list that because it might do really well. I did check comps on this. This is a brand I don't think I've ever sold, but I was like, let's see if this does well. And it, I think it should sell for like 30 to $40. It's the brand MeUndies and it is a big old jumpsuit, zipper front with a hood. And for being black, it doesn't require too much lint rolling. It's a small medium. So that was a fun, interesting find. I found this style name super easily, so it'll be easy to list. Ooh, this is a really good find. It does need some TLC. Voari pair of black joggers. So it's gonna need some lint rolling. It's also gonna need some sweater shaving, but this should come out so easily. A little bit of pilling on the inner thigh. And then once I do those two things, these are gonna look so good. And it's so soft. What size is this? I'm like tempted to keep it large. <laughs> These are going to be great. So they'll sell super easily and fast, I think. Okay, so I actually found a couple pairs of men's jeans. And so with those J brand Tyler jeans that I found on the previous trip, I will have some good men's jeans going into my closet, which I'm excited about. I love selling men's jeans. These are the Hudson Blake Slum Straight, size 36. Goodwill wanted $30 for them, but they're in excellent condition, I think. So, yay. Easy one to list and should sell, I would guess, around $40, but not check comps. Um, this is a pair of Good American, and I actually looked this up and decided to get it because it's a more recent style. And it's a size 32. I think it's like a straight, like, crop jean. It's definitely, you know, a stretch denim. Uh, it's definitely, oh gosh, I'll have to do some sweater shaving because it's got some pilling on the inner thigh and it does have a tiny bit of, what is this called? I can't remember the name. <laughs> My pregnancy brain won't let me. Tiny bit of stretching right there. Y'all know, let me know what this is called. Whatever, my brain's just not going to cooperate today. Go to a one of $20 for these. Oh, it actually has some on the inner thigh as well. I did not see that. Like some of that pulling. Maybe I should not have picked these up. Yeah, I'm tempted to just mark these as a loss. Good American's hard to sell these days. And if it has flaws, it's almost impossible. <laughs> so I think I might not list those. Not waste my time. This is a pair of men's Lululemon shorts. I know they're men's because they have this little square on the outside of the symbol. What is that? I think I can get that off with a sweater shaver. Let's see what size. They seem kind of small. Where is the size dot? They are a size medium. Okay, not bad. And they have a little style number on there. So should be able to find these pretty easily. They're in good condition, I think. A little bit of wear, but in good condition. I got a couple of these birthday cards. After, it says, let's get loud after all it's your birthday. I like to keep cards. I have a little file thing of cards. And then, you know, when you need it, you have it. I've, I love doing that. This is another pair of men's jeans. These are Joe's. So we've got J brand, Joe's, and Hudson. We're coming in with all the premium denim brands. This is a size 38 Adelmo jeans. We'll stay in there. They'll come out. Okay, I guess I will wash these along with the J brand ones. This I did check comps on because it's an older anthropology piece and I decided just to go ahead and pick it up. It's Sleeping on Snow. It's a one size kind of kimono cardigan and everyone has a listed around I think 40, 45. I'll probably list that for like 29 and then just try to move it quickly because it's going to be so easy to list. I decided to pick it up. This is a cool quarter zip in good condition. Men's size medium. So I decided to pick that up and try it out. Cool. It's a brand that honestly performs well for me. I don't find it very often. And when I do, I try to stick to 
more substantial pieces, but if it's at the bins, why not? This is Torrid. I decided to pick this up. It's because it's a newer piece. And I think it'd be easy to find, easy to list. And it's really good for, yeah, it's from March, 2023. So newer and it's perfect for this time of year. It's just this eyelet blouse. Cute. Won't sell for a ton, like 15, 25, but it will sell. Torrid is, I think one of those that if it's newer and cute, it typically will sell. And I'll only pick Torrid up at the bins at this point. This is really cute. I kind of want Matt to keep it. It's Everlane men's size large and it is a hoodie I, I think i am going to give this to him because he doesn't have anything like this and it's so nice it's this ribbed thick knit sweatshirt with a zipper front excellent condition so it's my little present to him watch him be like i don't want that <laughs> that's fine <laughs> i will sell it this is older but i did actually look it up and decided to get it it is torrid it's called like the tweed textured blazer Someone threw it back. I don't know why, but it's double breasted in excellent condition and it's a more substantial piece. So I could see that going for like 30, 35. And then this is a brand I did not know about. I looked it up and it looks like a um, good bolo brand to know. We'll see how these two pieces do, but the brand is Outer Known. And I found a pair of, I think a men's gray corduroy pant and then a men's, I think it's men's. Yeah, 36 gray corduroy short. So I'm really excited to get those listed and hopefully I'll be able to find style names and stock photos and stuff, but if not, it's fine. And then this was another piece that was being rolled out and for a new rotation. And I love, I didn't look it over very well because I just grabbed it right before they took it away. I love this brand. I haven't found it in a while. I love this brand. Men's Buck Mason. And this is just a green t-shirt. So it won't sell for a lot, like 15, 20, 25, maybe if I'm lucky, I don't know. Is that a stain there? Is that a stain? Sometimes I can see it easier in the camera. Honestly, I can just take this to Crossroads. I might just do that. But yeah, I was really, really happy to find that. Is that a stain? It's either like a yellow, yellow on green stain, or I am, my eyes are playing tricks on me. But I think that's everything. That was good. That's a good big old haul. Well, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully this is the last, actually I have one more video I need to film, but hopefully <laughs> this is one of the last videos I film for April. I guess this might be like later April when you're watching this. And um, I probably will make an appearance on YouTube in April post baby a couple times. So I'll give you, give you an update. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to head off. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Ben's find was. Man, so many crazy finds, like that All Saints coat and stuff. Just a really solid haul, I think. Solid pieces all around. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye!